Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul from Paul and Tech, and I've been a Windows user my whole life. A few years ago, I got my HP Pavilion G6 laptop for Christmas that ran Windows 7, and just this summer I built my computer that's right behind me that runs Windows 8. A few weeks ago, my brother got an Asus C300 Chromebook for Christmas, and I've been playing around with it for the last few weeks, and these are some of my first impressions of Chrome OS. Now there's one key difference between Chrome OS and Windows, and that's the fact that Chrome OS is more oriented towards cloud storage and everything is accessed through the Chrome browser. In fact, most Chromebooks don't even have much more than 16 or maybe 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, so I was interested to see how well or poorly this would turn out. I was with my brother when he set up the computer, and it was actually super simple. He just put in his Google email address and everything else worked out by itself. Unlike Windows, you don't have to install browsers, antivirus, flash players, etc. And it's pretty much ready as soon as you type in your email address. The home screen is very simple and minimalistic, similar to iOS compared to Android. There really isn't too much to customize on the interface. In fact, the only thing you can customize is the sort of dock on the bottom called the shelf where you can choose which apps are displayed and on which side of the screen the shelf would be on. I doubt anybody would choose for the shelf to be anywhere besides the bottom because left and right are just weird and unnatural, but the options are there if you want to choose that. To access all the apps, you just click on the app drawer at the bottom of the shelf, and then on the far right there's a toolbar that toggles things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and you can also sign in and out of different Google accounts. So as I mentioned before, everything in Chrome OS revolves around the browser. You can't actually install any applications onto the computer itself, and the applications that are available from the Chrome OS web store are really just links to the websites that host those pages. So for instance, when I add the Amazon app, it's really just a link to the Amazon website, or when I add Angry Birds, it just redirects me to another page that the game is hosted on. Apps like Microsoft Word and PowerPoint are crucial to a computer experience, and thankfully there are alternatives that are available completely online. My personal favorite is Google Drive. Here you can have 15 gigabytes of free storage to store things like pictures, documents, slideshows, and more. 15 gigabytes is plenty for me, but if you need more, Google offers some really good prices on various storage capacities. But of course, there's no way that everything can be accessed online, and that's the real downside to Chrome OS. Gaming is extremely limited, and you're pretty much stuck with the sort of mini games available on the App Store. And while there are options for online video editors, they don't even come close to applications like Vegas Pro 13 or Adobe Premiere, which are available on full-fledged computers. So can a Chromebook really replace a computer or laptop? Well, not necessarily. But it really brought to my attention how much a simple browser can do. If you're a college student who wants something cheap and simple to take notes on, or you just want a clean and simplistic design, then a Chromebook might be perfect for you. But if you're more of a hardcore gamer or video editor, then you should probably stick to computers. So those were some of my first impressions of Chrome OS and sort of a review coming from a Windows experience. So I'm really impressed with what a Chromebook can do, and if you're somebody who doesn't need all the bells and whistles that come with a computer, then this might be perfect for you. If you want to see a review of the Asus C300, the Chromebook actually, then comment down below. It's a few months old, but I could still do a review on that if you guys want me to. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for some more content coming from me in the near future. Thanks. So guys, that pretty much wraps up my video. If you like this video, please give me a...